head swimming yet, or are you settled on three nights out there? Uh, I feel like I'm getting better each and every day. Uh, I'd probably say last month I was struggling, you know. Obviously, that's expected because new playbook, new, new system. And, but I feel like I'm picking it up. What's um, the biggest difference? I feel like you got to know way more football. And uh, Coach Offer's done a really good job of teaching me football. Like Even like during the recruiting process, you know, he talked to all of me. Like, I learned a lot from him in like, these few months. And, I mean, I came from a good foundation, obviously, because my dad played in the NFL, my brother plays at the college level, and Coach Alford, one of the best teachers in the business. Coach Alford says you're, you're going full speed. He likes that about you. Do you have to slow yourself down a little bit at times? Yes, sir. Uh, we had a walkthrough yesterday, and uh, it's kind of going too fast. Coach today told me to slow down. Uh, that's that's kind of always been like an issue for me. Like, all I know is like go full speed. I'm not going to slow it down. Man. Uh, there are really unique players, and I, I can learn like, something from each and every one of them. And I feel like I'm just glad to be in the room with those guys because it's making me better. Yeah, Evan said uh, he was impressed by the way you've learned the quote playbook end quote uh, as quickly. How how uh, imperative was that to you to get that done? Uh, it's, it's imperative because if you don't know what you're doing. No way you can play or yeah. any of that. So you got to know what you're doing. So every day, like when I met with Coach Offer or Coach Riley Jeffers, uh, I take notes. Then when I'd be uh, in the dorm, I just study my notes for like an hour. Or longer. Yeah. Hey, Dale, what, what do you think sets you apart from those other three? They're, they're, you look at those three guys, and there, there's something different about each one of them. You know what? What sets you apart from those? Do you think? What, what have you noticed? I feel like I'm always at full speed and I feel like we're just all different, you know. I can't I've only been here like months so I don't really know yet, but yeah. I feel like I have my own style of running and I feel like Coach Offers is gonna develop that. How would you describe your running style people? Uh, I'm always full speed, uh, always trying to get downhill. Uh, I can try to try to outrun, uh, make a move. I just feel like my benefit is always being full speed. Dallin, is there an advantage to coming into this situation when you have three guys that it seems like Trevion, Evan, and Mayan are going to get the carries, right? You know you can sort of go things here at your own pace. But obviously, you want to play and compete, but is there a benefit for you to just be able to learn from them and, and do things at your own pace? Uh, I just feel like learning from those three, three good facts will only make me better. So, yeah. Takes a little pressure off, though. Yes, sir. Plus, there's like only so three. Far? There's only three. I mean, you're you're almost in the look already. Do you feel that way? Yes, sir. Uh, I just feel like I got to keep getting better, keep stacking days. A month, a month under your belt. I mean, are you feeling a little overwhelmed, intimidated, maybe just coming in into this scenario? You know, uh, from from high school, and now all of a I mean, sudden, boom, you're on a huge stage like Ohio State. I mean, I was nervous at first. I'd probably say last month I was the most nervous. Cause I didn't know. I didn't know that many players. Let me be real. But like, huh. I feel like I've gotten better with that. It's kind of slowing down just a little bit, not all the way, but I feel like it's getting better. What's more intimidating, that or having to answer questions from all these uh, reporters standing around like this? I'd probably say that part up there. <laughs> yeah, you're used to this, aren't you? I mean, yes, sir. But what's the best advice you got before you before you came this way? What was the best advice you got from back home? about uh, how to handle this new business? My dad just always said, you know, keep, keep the goal up front, but like, have fun with it. Like, don't just take it serious. Like, take it serious, but like, like, when you're outside these buildings, like, have fun, but like, keep the goal, the goal. Yeah. What made you want to be a Buckeye? Uh, I'd probably say Coach Dad and Coach Off, for sure. Having a, a you know a dad who has the background that he did, is you feel that's helped cultivate you to get to this point? Oh, that's definitely helped. You know, he's been, been training with him since I was young, and we've been doing stuff that you know, like younger kid probably can do. And yeah, it's, it's definitely prepared me. Dallas, you get a chance to work with Tony Alford? Uh, no, sir. So, uh, how'd your first practice go? 
I mean, it's, it's good, you know. Everything Coach Off is doing is for a reason, for sure. Like, obviously, his track record, all the backs he's coached uh, have done very well. So, he obviously knows what he's doing, and I just try to take his coach and make me a better player. Is there a moment that it became clear to you that Ohio State is the right place for you? Yeah, I knew, like, most of the time my recruiting process, like, I'd probably say after after the OD, I definitely knew that this was the place for me, you know. I kind of already, it was between either here or Notre Dame. Everybody probably knows that. Um, but I feel like here, Coach Offer was just different. And this plan to develop me was better than anybody else. Do you enjoy that your first game is going to be against Notre Dame? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, it'll be a good game, and uh, it'll be good. Yeah, I'm kind of an off-topic question, but with your foundation and, and the charity work that you do, have you found a way to try to work towards that in Columbus yet? Uh, I actually haven't, but I do plan on doing that um, with the people back home. And, like, see if they can connect with somebody here. So yeah, I definitely will continue to do that. What's the focus of that foundation? Uh, so it's uh, coaching for literacy. Growing up, uh, I used to used to struggle with like reading comprehension, but like. My parents got the resources I needed to like help me get better at that skill. So last year, throughout high school, every touchdown I scored, a certain amount of money was raised for kids who can't like afford those resources to get help. Yeah, and what, and you, what did you finally figure out about what you were dealing with there? I mean, because some kids just kind of get lost in the shuffle there, right? I mean, is it more identifying yeah, youngsters who have that uh, situation? It's definitely identifying because I kind of knew like at a younger age and then my mom and dad took action immediately, got me the help I needed, and it definitely worked. So yeah. this is something I'm very passionate about. Are you trying to start a Memphis to Ohio State pipeline? Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. No, y'all, uh, we, uh, we got a Brock Glenn. So, yeah. What about uh, just growing up in Memphis, playing there? What, how did that help prepare you for Ohio State? Uh, it helped me specifically because I feel like the high school I went to, we kind of run it like a college program, like we lift. We run and we practice pretty hard, so I feel like it prepared me better than like any other like high school Memphis student. And your favorite, your favorite part of the Graceland tour is? Believe it or not, I haven't actually, I haven't been to Graceland. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing with you. I'm curious, I saw you uh, tweeting about Duke basketball a lot during the spring. Have they converted you to an Ohio State basketball fan yet? Uh, probably not. To be honest, I've always been a Duke fan. But how did how did that come about? I I grew up a huge fan of Coach K. I feel like he's the greatest college coach ever. So I've always been a fan of him. What do you think is going to happen there though with him now stepping aside? What do you think? I mean, I how, like, do you think a lot of the guys like you are going to fade? And uh, you know what I mean? From the may, maybe you were more rooting for Coach K than Duke. You know? Yeah. Maybe because like obviously the new guys taking over for a legend, but you got to give anybody time to yeah. build their program. But yeah, it'll be it'll be tough without Coach K. Do you enjoy like watching different sports and kind of taking things from different sports and applying it to football? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I, I love watching. If I'm not watching football. Probably, I'm always watching basketball, NBA, college. Uh, LeBron is like huge motivation. His his greatness, like just it just like motivates anybody that's playing sports. I feel like. Is there any football players, any running backs that you look up to try to model your game after? Uh, Ezekiel Elliott, probably my, he's been my favorite back for a while now. Uh, just like his ability to get downhill, finish through contact, and he runs with purpose on the ground. Did that partially inspire your decision to become a Buckeye? Uh, I mean, yes, but like I, I knew I wanted to be here because uh, Coach Offer, and I know he developed guys like Zeke for one year, uh, J.K. Dobbins, Mike Weber, and uh, the list just goes on there. Let's ask you a weird one. Who, who are you going to be living with this season? Well, not uh, just at camp, but like during the year. Like my dorm? You're, yeah, your dorm. Okay, uh, yeah. We're in the Neo dorms. I'm rooming with uh, Kojo Antwi and uh, Caleb Brown and Kai Saunders, three receivers. <laughs> okay. How'd, that, how'd you end up with three receivers? Uh, we just kind of talked about it, like, because we all didn't know who we were going to room with. Yeah. And the summer guys actually had to live in Neo dorms. Like, the early enrollees, they're at the grill. So, when I found out Caleb and Kojo were uh, 
gonna be living in the same place I am. I was like, I was like, y'all want a room together? They're like, yeah, let's do it. And it's been great, so can't okay. complain. But when you like, you're you're here all the time. You're working out your different ways. Like when you're back at your place, like, do you want to talk about football? Do you not want to talk about football? I mean, you guys obviously care about it, but do you do you sometimes need to like clear your head and get away? Yes and no. Uh, I just know people back home. They're gonna be curious, you know. Yeah. They kind of look up to me because I know a lot of kids want to play at a high level, and like, so I don't mind answering yeah. questions, but like, I don't like talking about it like all the time. Yeah. Like sometimes I just want to be like, like outside the pads, like not just yeah. football player. For real. Okay. So are you like a messy roommate? You a clean roommate? What do you like? I uh, know our room is clean. Me, me and Kay look pretty clean. So. Okay. That's good. I would. Uh, is there like a guilt a food that you love to eat that like is your guilty pleasure a sweet thing or like a fast food or something? Canes. Okay. I feel like I feel like when I got here, June six, well, I ate canes almost every day. That, did you have canes back at home? No, no. so we didn't. We have uh, Zaxby's. Okay, oh, I love that. Yeah, Zaxby's too. good. But if that canes right by here, it's so tempting. I mean, like, you go past. I when I moved here, I ate it every day too. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've uh, expanded my food tree, like uh, it's a place called Adriatico. Yeah. They like know us, <laughs> me and uh, some other teammates that are freshmen. They know our names by heart. They're like, y'all come here almost every day. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's good. You got to build up the, the body weight, right? Get ready. Where are you at the weight you want to be at? Like that Nick wants you at? Or? Yeah, sir. I made my uh, body weight go, but okay. uh, if I can gain, it's all my team. Yeah. I think I just let Coach make it. Yeah. Where are you at right now? Uh, 195. It's kind of like you want to be powerful, but you want to keep your speed right. It's a different balance for everybody. Right? Yeah. You mentioned you're not just all football all the time. What about off the field at Ohio State kind of made you interested in Ohio State? Uh, real life Wednesdays, uh, Coach Day uh, presented that to me and my family. We were very impressed with that. Uh, no other school had that, I don't think. And yeah, that's probably the most impressive off the field. What are you majoring in here? I'm majoring in business. Do you have any visions of what you want to do with that long term? Uh, not right now, but I have thought like once I'm done playing, I kind of want to work for like a football team, like get in the office, like up to like a general manager. Oh, that's great. What do you just envision for your football career? Just being the best version of myself I can be, always uh, making improvements to my game. Do you have any specific goals? Like if you do the things you need to do, but it's ultimately going to work out in your favor. Who is a guy who was like from Boston who went here and then he works with the Patriots now? Oh, Cameron Williams. Yeah, Cameron <laughs> Williams. He was like a good player here. He had some injuries, I think, right? Yeah, he like got into scouting with the Patriots. Like, this is like, hey, Bill. This is a great place to go back. Dallas, thank you very much. Yes, me, Daniel, hello, Warriors. Shoulder bend.